Hi, I'm Mary at Frame It Easy, and today we are going to talk about the seven key things you need to think about before buying a picture frame. Have you ever purchased a piece of art or taken a photo that you want to frame and don't know where to start? We're going to take you through the seven key things that you need to know about framing a picture. With all the mathematical nuances and an abundance of aesthetic choices, it can be difficult to know which option is best. In this comprehensive guide, we'll take you through the seven key things you should consider when choosing the perfect picture frame for your art or photo. So, who are we here at Frame It Easy? Well, we may be a bit biased, but since it is our mission to make custom online framing simple, affordable, and fast, leaving you more time and money to experience those frameable moments, we want you to have all the info you need to make an informed decision. Okay, now let's get to the good stuff. You have a picture or a piece of art that you want to hang on your wall, so how do you go about it? The seven key things you'll need to consider when buying a picture frame are what are you framing, the art size, the frame style, the cover, the backing, where you're going to purchase it, and how you will hang it. The main thing to consider when picking a frame is what you are framing. So a few key questions to ask yourself are, does what you're framing have a special meaning? Is it irreplaceable, thus you don't want to risk someone else handling it? Where will it be hung? What style frame do you want? Do you expect it to be framed forever? How thick is it? And is it art you already have, or do you need it printed and framed? If you have something trivial or unimportant that can be cut to size, or only needs to be temporarily framed, your best bet might be to purchase a stock standard size frame at almost any major retailer. Just know that many of the components of said frame, which we'll get more into depth soon, are not necessarily made to last a long time or fully protect what's inside. For anything that has value to you and or comes in a non-standard size, custom picture framing is definitely the way to go, as you will have more flexibility in those options you choose. Types of art you can frame. Art you already have, which include art prints, photographs, puzzles, diamond paintings, posters, wrapped canvas, 3D collectibles, jerseys, or digital photos and art you need printed, which can include photos straight from your phone, tablet, or desktop, or downloadable digital art you purchase online. The second thing you will need to consider is your art size. How big or small your art is can affect what framing options are available, so taking into consideration your art size is also key. For example, most framers have minimum and or maximum sizes they can accommodate, so if your art is very small or large, you might need to shop around. Helpful hint, adding matting to smaller artworks is usually a way to bypass certain minimum frame size limitations. Speaking of size, making sure your art is measured correctly is probably the most important step in the framing process. If your measurements are off, the entire frame will be off, so accuracy is key. A great looking frame isn't worth much if it doesn't perform the function it's made for, holding your art. For digital art and photos you need printed, you generally have some flexibility on what size you want it to be. The higher resolution the image, the bigger you can have it printed without losing quality. It's also important to note that with the growing popularity and quality of smartphone cameras, there is really no longer a standard size for photos. Rather than have to cut a digital photo to fit inside a standard size frame, a custom frame will allow you to get that perfect fit. You'll also want to be sure your art is printed on professional equipment with proper color calibration for best quality. Frame styles. While there are many different styles, wood and metal are the two main materials you will likely find. Wood frames can be made from solid wood, medium density fiberboard, which is a recycled wood material, and finger jointed poplar, which is a middle ground between the two because it is still a recycled wood material, but also uses leftover solid wood pieces. Metal picture frames are made from aluminum, which can be then extruded, molded, and colored. Next is matting, a decorative lining that you put into your frame. It can complement or contrast a color in your piece that you want to stand out, or it can simply give your display an elegant dynamic. 
The addition of a mat board would make the overall dimensions of your frame larger as the opening of your matting would then become the window through which you view your art. The cover is another key part to your frame because it allows you to view what is inside. Just as the backing should protect your art, the cover should too. Covers for frames are typically made of one of two types of materials, glass or acrylic. Acrylic is quickly becoming the new popular picture frame cover choice, as it is not only more durable, but lighter too. Glass is probably the most traditional frame cover choice, though it is also the most fragile. While it is less susceptible to scratching, it is still more likely to break. The last thing to consider when choosing a cover is what finish you prefer. There are two main options, both of which have different looks. When it comes to acrylic, there are two main finishes, clear and non-glare. Clear is best if you want it to look closest to glass. Non-glare is great if you want a slightly diffused look or the frame is in direct sunlight. The backing. While you rarely see the backing to your frame, it is still an important functional element. The biggest note here is that to protect and preserve your art, you want to look for a backing that is acid-free, such as acid-free foam core. Materials such as cardboard and or plastic are often acidic and can harm your artwork over time, therefore are not recommended. The next thing you'll want to consider is where you're going to purchase your frame. An in-person frame shop might allow you to see all the available options right in front of you, but it's often much more costly in both time and money. Online framing is a great option to not only find a variety of styles and sizes, but you can order from the comfort of your home. Pricing, lead time, and limitations will vary from site to site though, so be sure to shop around to find the best fit. And finally, now that you found the perfect frame, it is time to figure out where you are going to hang it. Now that you've got your art looking good in a frame sized and styled perfectly, it's time to get it up on the wall. Both the hardware you use and the location you choose to hang it are equally as important. If your frame included the hanging hardware, we suggest using that. Since it was made for your frame, it will most likely be the best and safest option for your frame. Be sure to choose a location in your home that is safe for your frame and will keep it looking great for years to come. We here at Frame It Easy can help you create a custom frame that won't cost you a lot of time or money. We strive to provide our customers with a great experience and even better frames. Have something in mind that you want to frame? Let us help you. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, visit frameiteasy.com.